Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about Sprout Social and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you post to your social media using Sprout Social? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to post to your social media using Sprout Social anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're making money online using social media, you know it's a lot to manage different platforms. And with Sprout Social, you can post to one or more social media profiles all at the same time from one screen. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process and it's handled here in your Sprout Social account. This is the dashboard. Check my video description. I'll try to leave all the written instructions there as well. But here I am in my Sprout Social dashboard. Okay, so this is assuming that you have already connected your social medias to Sprout Social. If you need help with that, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. So as long as you've already connected your social medias into Sprout Social in order to post to those accounts, what you're going to do is click on this little blue button here on the top right. It looks kind of like a little pen and paper. Okay, so once you click there, it's going to open up the posting section inside Sprout Social. This is where you can post to your social medias. So first part that's really important right here, you need to make sure you're posting to the correct account. So what you want to do is click on this little arrow right here. Okay, so once you click in there, it's going to show all of the social medias that you have connected into your Sprout Social. So you want to go ahead and choose the account that you want to post to. So for example, we can post to this Facebook group. Now, if you have more than one Facebook group or more than one YouTube group, you can actually click on this one right here and it'll post to all Facebook groups that you have. So I only have one, so by default, it automatically populates this. But if you have more than one, you can go ahead and choose that and post to different groups at one time. Also, if you have your Instagram, you can go ahead and connect there. And then I have my YouTube. But for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to post to my Facebook. So let me go ahead and uncheck my YouTube and my Instagram. Okay, so let me click out of here by clicking right here. Okay, now we can go ahead and post. So we can just type in what we want. Hey, this is a new post. Okay, so I added some text that's going to go on to my Facebook page. And if you want, you can go ahead and upload media by clicking into here. So you can upload an image, you can upload a video, you can pull from your Google Drive or your Dropbox. For me, I'm not going to post a picture on this particular post. Next, you do need to choose a workflow. So if you need help setting up a workflow, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. But you do need to have some sort of workflow set up in order to continue with the posting. If you don't have a workflow set up, it will prompt you to go ahead and set one up. It's pretty easy. Basically, it just sets up an approval process. So that way, if you have assistance working in your Sprout Social. They can design the post, but you'll need to get the approval and approve it. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this approval. Okay, so here you can go ahead and add labels. So basically, this is just tagging your content. That way, if you need to review your content later, it's easy to search. Okay, so once all that's filled out, you can go ahead and click on submit down here on the bottom right. Okay, now it says my draft has been saved. So during the approval process, whoever is set up to approve these posts that are going to go onto your social media from Sprout Social will get a pop-up. So it's going to be here in their notifications. Okay, so here you see this is the post. So we'll click on here and then we're going to click on view post. Okay, so here is the post that we set up to go into our Facebook page. This is what I typed in. Hey, this is a new post. And what's going to happen is if this looks okay to you, you want to click on approve. Okay, you're going to get this warning from Sprout Social before you post to your social media that you can schedule or queue this post if you want to. If not, go ahead and click on approve. Okay, a quick second later, the page refreshes and now my post from Sprout Social has posted to my Facebook page or whatever social media that you decided to post to from Sprout Social. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to post to your social media using Sprout Social, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.